good morning students and welcome to our youtube channel grand manjri modern school so in the previous video we have just we are just going through the chapter chapter number 2 playing with numbers in that we have just seen the divisibility by 2 3 4 and 2 uh, 3 and 4 now we will go to divisibility 5 okay students so how it is just done divisibility by 5 see here there is an example of that directly doing that and then after just reading the theory part divisibility by 5 see here we know that any multiple of 5 always has its unique place digit either 5 or 0 examples are 25 100 130 etc which are all divisible by 5 see here going to the example number 17 example number 17 a is 3 4 5 7 is divisible by 5 or not b 2 7 5 and c that is 8 1 3 0 we have to see here that this are divisible by 5 or not see here first of all how which i have read that sentence in that we have seen that the number is divisible by 5 when the unit place is 0 or 5 see here here unit place is 7 here is 5 here is 0 okay students so first of all its unit place is not 5 or 0 so it is not divisible by 5 okay students this is not divisible by 5 now going towards next here the unit digit is 5 so it is divisible by 5 see here here the unit place phi or 0 is there so it is divisible by phi or you can just write its unit place is 5 okay students you can write its unit place is 5 so it is divisible by 5 and here going to the third one that is c here also the unit place is 0 so here you can write here the unit place is 0 so it is divisible by 5 okay students please note down this we all know divisibility by 5 if in the unit place there is 5 or 0 then only then this number is divisible by 5 okay students please note down this and now going towards the divisibility test by 
have you written down this students so now moving towards divisibility of 6 so first of all how can we know that this is divisible by 6 or not okay students this number is divisible by 6 or not so see here in your textbook it is written that if we take out the factors of 6 and we will get 2 and 3 we get 2 and 3 so 2 into 3 is equal to 6 means the number which just satisfy the divisibility rules of 2 and 3 then it is divisible by 6 if we take an example we all know 6 6 36 i am taking a just common example for your understanding students if we take 6 36 we know that it is divisible by 6 but we have to just check it so 36 we are taking a number that is 36 we have to first of all see that it is divisible by 2 or not yes it is divisible by 2 because in the divisibility for 2 in the unit place should be even number see here there is even number and here 3 it is divisible by 3 we know in the divisibility by 3 we have to total the number that is 3 plus 6 is equal to 9 so 9 is divisible by 3 3 3 is a 9 okay students 9 is divisible by 3 yes then it is divisible by 6 okay students now let us see an another example which is in your textbook see here example number 18 example number 18 going through it Example number eighteen A. It is three five one. B. It is four double two. And C. It is seven nine two. Okay, students. See, we have to see that which number is divisible by six. Let us see that. First of all, what we have to see, we have to see it is. divisible by 2 and 3 then only we can just say that it is divisible by 6 so first of all saying by 2 see here this number is divisible by 2 no the number is odd so it is not divisible by 2 so this is not divisible by 6 also in the condition of divisibility by 6 the number should be also divisible by 3 and also divisible by 2 okay students then only it can be divisible by 6 so here it is divisible by 3 or not we have to do total 3 plus 5 plus 1 this 5 plus 3 8 plus 1 9 yes it is divisible by 3 but it is not divisible by 2 not divisible by 2 divisible by 3 okay students so this is not divisible by 6 this is not divisible by 6 moving towards the another one now 4 double 2 let us see that it is divisible by yes first of all it is odd number it is sorry even number even so it is 
डिविजिबल बाय टू ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ चेकिंग अबाउट थ्री सो फोर प्लस टू प्लस टू दैट इज फोर प्लस टू सिक्स प्लस टू एट ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो एट इज नॉट डिविजिबल बाय टू सो दिस नंबर इज नॉट not divisible by 3 divisible by 3 okay students so it is also not divisible by 6 now moving towards the third one let us see it is divisible by 6 or not so first of all yes it is even number so it is divisible by 2 so it is divisible by 2 why it is even number so it is divisible by 2 now testing about 3 3 sorry 7 plus 9 plus 2 so 16 plus 2 that is 18 yes 18 is divisible by 3 so it is also divisible by 3 okay students and so it is divisible by 6 so it is divisible by 6 okay students please note down this have you wrote down this students now moving further and seeing the divisibility test by 8 so how we can know this so how we can know that it is divisible by 8 or not see here there is a point in your textbook that we all know that 1000 2000 3000 etc all are multiples of 8s 8 into 125 is equal to thousands consider the number example 19 consider the number 7128 since 1000 is divisible by 8 7000 is also divisible by 8 we must check if 128 is divisible by 8 since 128 is divisible by 8 then Seven one to eight is divisible by eight. See here, I am just showing it. Example number nineteen. A that is seven one to eight, and B is three two triple three. So students. we have to check it is divisible by 8 or not so how we will just do this thing let us see that see here first of all 1000 2000 3000 4000 8000 8, 000, all are divisible by 6 8 okay students so here 
is divisible by 8 so now we have to check is 128 is divisible 128 is divisible by 8 see you are just checking that 128 8 8 ones are 8 remaining 4 48 8 fives are 40 8 six are 48 yes it is divisible by 8 so this number is divisible by 8 by 8 now moving towards this one see here here 32000 is there 32000 is divisible by 8 divisible by 8 okay students now seeing 3 3 3 333 uh, is divisible by 8 or not let us see that 8 8 6 are sorry uh, 8 5 are 40 is there then 8 4 are or 4 8 are 4 are 30 2 8 5s are 40 so here remaining 1 13 8 1s are 8 so th 8 9 10 11 12 13 remaining 5 so it is not divisible by 8 triple 3 is not divisible by 8 so this number is is not divisible by 8 why 32000 is divisible by 8 ok students but triple 3 is not divisible by 8 so it, this number is not divisible by 8 so we have this seen the divisibility of 8 now next sums are given in the example number 20 you just first of all write down this then after we go to example number 20 Okay, students, have you wrote down this? Now moving towards example number 20. Now example number 20 is, so here I am writing the question example number 20A that is 3, 4, 6, 7, 2, B that is 3, 8, 4, 1, 3, 2 3 8 4 1 3 2 okay students now let us see how it is divisible okay students now first of all this 34 is divisible by divisible by 8 34000 is divisible by 8 now we have to just check the last three number is it divisible by 8 or not see here 6 7 2 divided by 8 8 8 is 64 8 8 is 64 0 3 2 8 4 is 32 remaining 
zero zero. So this number is. is divisible by 8 okay student so this number is divisible by 8 we have to just check the last three digit is it divisible by 8 or not see here the last three digit over here that is 132 132 so 132 divided by 8 8 ones are 8 how many remaining 8 9 10 11 12 13 5 2 52 8 fives are 40 8 sixes are 48 8 sevens are 56 so 8 sixes are 48 48 So we will do minus four, twelve remaining four. Okay, students. So this is not divisible by eight. Last three digit is not divisible by eight. So this is not divisible by eight. This is not divisible by. Eight. Okay, students. Please note down this, and then we will move further for the divisibility test of nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, students. Moving towards the divisibility test of nine. Okay, students. Divisibility test of nine. so in 9 also we have to just total the digit like we are doing in 3 okay students so here the directly seeing example that is example number 21 example number 21 that is a a that is 3 4 5 7 3 4 5 7 b the b is 8154 8154 and the c is 3465 3465 let us say it is divisible by 9 or not see here the 3 we have to do the total which how we do in the divisibility by 3 so 3 Plus four plus five plus seven. Three plus four plus five plus seven. So three plus four seven. Seven plus seven fourteen. Fourteen plus five nineteen. So is this digit divisible by nine? No, it is not divisible by nine. So this number is also. is not divisible by 9 okay students now moving towards our example number b c here now also we have to do the total of the digit that is 8 plus 5 sorry 8 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4 
So, if I take this 4 plus 1 that is 5, 5 plus 5 that is 10, 10 plus 8 that is 18. So, is this number divisible by 9? Yes, it is divisible by 9, 9 to the 18. So, this number is divisible by 9. So, this number is divisible by 9. And now moving towards this one. So, in this also we have to do total 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5. 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5. See here, 6 plus 4 that is 10. 10 plus 5 that is 15. 15 plus 3 that is 18. Yes, it is divisible by 9. So, this number is divisible by 9. Okay, students, have you understand this? The total of the number, total of the digit must be divisible by 9 then only the number is divisible by 9 okay students please note down this and now please write down your today's homework students so your today's homework is students So, your today's homework students, please note down this. Homework that is, you have to just solve example number 17 to 21. 17 to 21. Okay, students, 17 to 21 and exercise 2E, question 4, which was remaining that was divisible by 5 and exercise 2F in that question 1 and 2, 2. Okay, students, this is your homework. Please note down your homework students and up till then stay safe, stay home. Okay, bye students and if you have any doubts, you can just message me. Okay students.